Hello everyone and welcome to this new series of tutorials. Uh, we are going to show you how to create a game on Spark AR, so inside an Instagram filter. Um, actually we are going to create this game here, which was intended created for the um, Star Wars Day, May the 4th. So there is a lot of uh, little things uh, you have to learn to, to, to do this game. Uh, I will try to show you what I know and how I did it. And I hope it will help you to uh, go further and learn more about Spark AI. Uh, so let me quickly qui quit this here. Yeah, yeah. So um, first of all, what do we need to do uh, is to understand every uh, module that we are going to use uh, for this tutorial, for this effect. So there is a reactive module I'm using, uh, patches module, animation time, and I'm uh, splitting and multiple script the um, the effect so um, so splitting across uh, multiple files will help you like to have a uh, more readable script files uh, instead of having 500 lines you can like split uh, your your code in different pieces which is easier to read uh, you have here all the, the explanation how to export classes and functions and how to import Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. Uh, also, we're gonna use the animation module. So, animation modules allow you to create um, a loop, uh, and uh, and uh, allow you to during this loop uh, to uh, animate a, a value. Uh, so, we're gonna use the time driver um, animations. So, I will quickly show you uh, during the tutorial how I'm, I am using it. Uh, also, we're gonna use the time module. Time module uh, help you to create timeouts. Uh, that's uh, why I'm using it inside this uh, this effect. It's also like using timeouts also helps me to uh, to test uh, my game. So I will show you how I'm doing it. Uh, also, the patches module, which helps you to get values from the and variables from the patch or send values and variables to the patches. Uh, which is great because I'm not doing everything uh, by scripting and I'm also trying not to do everything by d uh, using the patch editor. I'm trying to use both. Uh, like I'm using my uh, kind of um, architecture and uh, and I like the brain of the of the game and then the logic of the game inside the patch inside the script and inside the patch. I'm more like using everything related to textures or everything related to. Uh, gestures etc also uh, i'm using reactive module uh, for like many many reasons reactive modules allows you to uh, compute to do computations on uh, on reactive programming and on signals and 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 special variables that are not like uh, constant variables that are constantly changing and the and kind of uh, like um uh, real-time variables so you need to use a reactive module to uh, do computation on this and also there is a lot of uh, really interesting uh, functions on the reactive modules like distance is very useful that we're gonna use it uh, for sure uh, yeah so uh, um, I advise you to have a look at all hey look at it's here wait I lost it anyway uh, to have a look at all the this this uh, this information is pretty, really, really useful, and also, like, I will show you all the time. I'm just copy and pasting parts of uh, from the Spark AI, uh, website to use it in my code. Um, so let's start. Uh, first step: we're gonna use a face tracker. Uh, like I said, it's a bla bla game where you blink and where you move your head, and it's moving the ship. So uh, we need face tracker for sure. Uh, so yeah, face tracker here. So, um, quickly, uh, also, then, um, so, yeah, sorry, now, now I, get a, I got my first tracker, okay, cool, uh, where should I put my ship, because now we want to create the ship, so, um, I'm using canvas, and then I, I add my, my plane inside the canvas, so, the plane will be inside the canvas, and also, if it doesn't detect any face, it will disappear, yeah, from here, so, yeah, that's, that's pretty useful, um, so this will be called like player canvas or ship canvas or whatever. Um, and also this is a ship, battleship or ship or yeah. Sp 
spaceship. Yeah, maybe spaceship is better. Okay, I don't know. Let's let's keep it like that. Um, so cool. And uh, now what I need, uh, I need my, uh, I need to put a plane and I need to put material to this plane. So here I'm adding a material because I want to add like um, a texture on the top of it. Uh, shadow type to flat. This is my ship material, so let's call it ship material. Here, yeah. Uh, also, so now, like I, I didn't say about it yet, but um, the the texture of the ship is actually a sequence of image. This is really useful because this will help uh, when we will do the destruction of the ship. Like uh, we can make small animation where the ship is this is exploding exploding and then like a piece is going apart and etc so this is uh, done by using animation sequence um yeah so new animation sequence which is uh, the ship uh sequence animation sequence or ship uh, yeah, animation sequence yeah um and then i'm using um texture here importing um this is a texture sequence um yeah using it inside the ship animation sequence and then uh, i'm using here the patch editor to set uh the the animation sequence texture to my ship okay but here it's moving very fast so you, as you see there is a sequence of animation it's like the explosion looping but I don't need it to loop, so let's stop it. And now uh, let's set a frame. Let's set a frame. Uh, I want to be the, the the because I need I need to show my ship, so I need to find which frame my ship is on and um, and use this. So here on the ship animation, you can set set the frame uh, like one uh, like one is this two is this three. Four, and a four does not exist so yeah one okay and zero is actually my ship so cool here the, the value is zero actually so yeah that's my ship cool uh, why am I doing this because after that um, I let okay let me close my window um, so yeah um, so this is my animation texture. I'm using it, so like I said, for the explosion. Anyway, let's let's go further. Um, now, what we need to do? So we added the plane. We linked the plane to the face to the movement of the face because we want the ship to follow my face and move as I move my face. Okay. So to use this, let's grab the face dragger inside the patch editor um, here. Cool. So. So is here you can see I have the 3D position, the 3D scale, rotation of my face. Okay, I here I only need the position. So I'm using here, I'm taking the position of my plane. Here. I'm using pack. You will see why. Because actually I don't want uh, my plane to move along the Y axis or Z axis. Okay, just want it to move along the X, X axis. X yeah um, so here uh, okay I can use I just want to get the 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 the, the, um, the X axis so uh, I'm using 3d position and then I'm using swizzle um, for those who don't know swizzle what is let, let's let's read the patch uh, of swizzle like, it's okay so what swizzle do is like um, Depending on the on the on the options you pass, uh, it will get what you ask uh, what you want to get. Okay, it takes a, a four four dimensional vector or three dimensional or two dimensional, uh, and then if you want to get only x, y, or z, or or just x, and then add zero zero for the rest, you can you can do this using a swizzle. For example, if I do this, I'm taking three D vector here, and it will all, only return. Uh, one one uh, one value. If I do this, we'll return three value. But uh, y and z will be zero. If I do this, uh, um, y is zero. And if I do this, I get all three values. Okay. You can do the same for RGB and etc. Um, so yeah, I only need x and then x here. Uh, and also maybe um, okay, it's not moving. As you see, it's not moving. 
Why? Um, because the, they, they don't have the same uh, scale. Like these values, the, because uh, my ship is inside the canvas, uh, so uh, there is a, a different the type of uh, different, um, I, I don't know how to say in English, but uh, different, uh, the values, they don't have the same uh, scale, okay? So uh, I need to multiply because they are too, too low to make my uh, plane move. Uh, okay, so here, multi multiply here and there, and then if I multiply by a thousand, you see, now it's moving, okay. Uh, maybe I will use two thousand because one thousand, yeah, I want it to move very fast, and follow my head. So, yeah, um, also it's a little bit too high, I want it to be a little bit lower, uh, not too low, yeah, here. Because if you if you go if you go too low, uh, it will be inside the button of uh, the Instagram when you take a picture, so that's not good. Uh, I suggest you to go one, yeah, minus one hundred. Also, okay, so cool. Now um, the ship is following my face, which is great. Uh, I so this tutorial is like really oriented on the ship for 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 the first one. So um, the ship has uh, three really important uh, functions. So is uh, also shooting, but we will we'll see this later. Um, is pawning, so appearing from the bottom uh, to the top. Also, uh, is taking shots, so he's, gonna, uh, he's going to be hit. Uh, and also, is going to explode. So we need to make it spawn, uh, being hit, and um, exploding, okay. So how, how am I gonna do this? Um, I'm gonna use the, the, a little bit of scripting here. Uh, so let's start. Um, create the first script. So this is a, a kind of general script. Uh, let's open. Cool. Yeah. That's so like that. You see. I'm um, just removing this. I don't need. Also, yeah. Also, uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Now it's a little bit cleaner. I uh, don't need to export the diagnostic. I re I, re I rename it to D always because diagnostic is very long. Um, okay. Cool. Now let's start. Like. Now, you know, we have to use promises to get uh, everything that we need to work on. So we will need materials, we need textures sometimes. So we need to use a promise, okay? So, uh, like how this is working then, that's uh, the way JavaScript is handling uh, asynchronous uh, method functions. Uh, yeah, so, and then when it's done, I get the results of what I'm waiting. And here open the brackets okay and also using catch in case there is an error here error and then you want to display using d log uh, error Alors, un, uh, there is an error okay and you display what what the error is okay cool. so just in case there is an error okay um what do we need to, to play with this with, with this um Actually, with this uh, with this uh, ship, okay, this ship is a plane, and we need the plane okay, because um, I'm going to make a spawn. So going from bottom to top, I need to modify its position, and I need to modify the y position, uh, especially, and the y position is contained inside the plane, okay. So I need to get the plane. Uh, so how how does it work? The plane is inside the scene, as you can see here, and then open it. Yeah. So the plane is here, um, inside the scene. Okay, my ship. So I get it from the scene. Okay, so here, here's my scene. My scene is here. Cool. So oh, how scene? I'm using my scene and then root, and then a find first. Okay, that's what the name of it is called ship. So yeah, find first ship. Cool. Uh, yeah, find first ship. Okay, great. And then results of zero because it's not, the result is an array. So result of zero is going to be my ship. So I wanna, I wanna see if it's, if, it's, if it's right, if I'm doing things right. So yeah, let's save, let's, let's see. Okay, cool. So like diagnostic is, 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 uh, is uh, displaying a message. So I'm showing the plane, okay? That's the object, plane object. So there is a lot of things inside the plane object, okay? And there's also transformation and stuff, so cool. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> there is also something really important. Uh, okay, let's let's follow let's follow the steps. Okay, user can tap on the screen to start the game. Okay, so uh, I need to get the tap on the screen. So how do I do this? Just it's on the patch. Okay, tap screen 
tap. Okay, cool, he's here. Enter. Okay, I got a screen tap. Um, what I'm gonna do is like, I want my script to manage when I start uh, the game and I want my... So I need to send the screen tab to my script, okay? For this, I'm going to use the patches module for the script, okay? Uh, so I'm importing the, the patch module. Patches require patches, patches, yeah, here. Cool, okay, and then uh, the variable I'm sending to the patch uh, is from the outputs, so because it's going out of the patches, um, it's a, it will be a pulse value because when I tap, it generates a pulse value and I'm okay to work with the pulse with a pulse value, so that's great. Um, just get pulse and the name of the value, we're gonna call it screen tap. Okay. Cool. Um, now I need to click on my script, and if I set my script, I have the from script values and two script values. Okay, so I'm sending one to the script. That's the pulse I said here. Screen tab. Cool. Um, okay, let's go. So, yeah. So now I got my result value, and I need to subscribe to this value because uh, this is a pulse value, so it's uh, a reactive value. Um, it will change. When, I tap, when I'm tapping, uh, so I need to subscribe to this value because whenever it's changed, I need to know. So let's subscribe, okay. Uh, sorry, here, yeah. I don't get anything from this. I'm just subscribing. Let's display something if I'm, if I'm right. Uh, I'm tapping. Okay, cool, let's display something. Oh, let's clear this maybe. Okay, it's clear. Cool. Okay, and then tap. Oh, it's not working. Yeah, because now when you when you create this value here, you need to click on the arrow and then link it to the tap. Yeah, so here it's linked. So whenever I tap, we'll do something, and then it will it should send me. Um, Oh yeah, it's not result of zero because result of zero is my ship, but actually it's result of one. So yeah, here, one, save it. Okay, and then now when I'm tapping, it's reacting to my tap. Okay, cool. So now what I want to do is I want my ship uh, to spawn when I tap because I'm starting the game. So let's see how 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 we how I'm gonna how, how we how we are going to do this. So um, okay, what I, I have written here. So yeah, uh, create the ship class now, okay? And it should spawn, it should hit, and it should explode. To create the ship class, we're gonna create a new file that we're gonna call ship.js. Let's go inside ship. Uh, let's clear it all. Uh, okay, sorry. I don't need this. Let's keep dialectics. Let's call it D. I don't need this. We're gonna export the class, which we're gonna call ship class. The class have a constructor, okay. And then for now, that okay, it's gonna have hit method. Uh, it's gonna have a spawn, a explode, and it's gonna have um, explode and. Um, and spawn. Okay, cool. Um, now this is I can comment it for now. I'm not use, I'm not using them. Okay, cool. Uh, it's important to store my ship. Like you said, my ship is plain. It has texture, so I'm not gonna store everything in my class. You could. Uh, I depend on how you wanna work, but I'm just need the plane actually when I create my ship. So, so that I can access to the plane all the time when I'm needing it and then do the modifications. So yeah, class, ship, and then I'm importing the class here. Import from file is called ship.js, okay. And the class is called, called ship, cool. Um, now let's, cr let's create the ship. Uh, 
for example let ship is equal to a new ship new ship and it's taking a plane and my plane is zero, result zero okay cool so now uh, I have my ship that is created if we want to validate this we can like, just delog here plane just in case to see that we are doing something and so here we created the plane okay cool um, so now what I need to do is I, I want my ship to spawn okay so how, how do I do this I want my ship to come from may, maybe um, so sp spawning what you could do is like hide the ship and then show it when you want it to spawn and then hide it again and then okay but I found this a little bit like useless uh, what I'm gonna do is just when my ship is, is not as uh, playing it's, it's minus uh, 1000 in y axis um, so so one of my want I want my ship to spawn I want my ship to go from minus 1000 to minus 100 okay so how do I do this um, I'm gonna use animation okay and and so like I don't I I I don't know by heart uh, animation I'm just gonna copy paste <laughs> here's what I'm gonna do copy paste time driver animation pasting this here okay cool uh, let's remove all these commands because I don't need them but you need them to learn so it's pretty interesting to have all, all, all of these comments um, okay 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 here so this time driver parameters I will keep them in here okay um, so it's spawn spawn spawn, spawn uh, config uh, driver config here okay uh, the duration I think this the time is okay loop not infinite just one and mirror no false we don't need we just want the animation to bring the ship from minus 1000 to minus 100 that's all um, okay we also need uh, the position of the ship that I want the final position so it's ship posi uh, y position which is like I said minus 100 okay so uh, with this okay to this maybe it's clear okay um, so time driver I want to store also the time driver here so it's spawn oh uh, yeah do I need to store it okay I don't remember but I don't think I need to store it we'll see if we need to store it we'll store it later okay um, animation time driver so we give the config duration here and the configuration is th this now so here okay um, so now we have the configuration which is the duration loop count just one and ma and the mirror false I don't want it to go back or anything um, okay so we can also with animation create samples uh, samples uh, we need uh, linear samples like we need just uh, our uh, ship to go from um, minus 1000 to minus 100 uh, without any like a uh, special movement or anything or special like a uh, curve uh, so let's use linear here and so if we use linear here we just want to rename all of this quant quadrat quadratic to linear samples okay cool um, also it will be so translation animation and it will transform not the x but the y x um, okay so and this is my plane is here okay cool and then time driver starts that's all okay um, let's 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 try this let's try this uh, I think it should work yeah let's try okay uh, here how, how do I try this simply called ship dot spawn in here in my tab if I tap nothing happens okay there is an error animation does not exist right 
you got a point you got a point my friend you got a point uh okay animation require here animation Anima animation okay cool and also what are we using uh, only animation here yeah okay cool so it needs animation oh yeah and something that i'm not doing at all so um the linear sample goes from zero to one okay and then i want to go from minus 1000 to minus 100 so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna need to change the range for my linear sample from zero to one so zero to one i'm gonna transform it to the min minus 1000 to minus one to minus 100 okay so it should be something like my linear sample sample uh, that goes from zero to one but i want him to go from minus 1000 to minus 100 okay so how do i do this here come the the reactive module which is a great module there's a lot of things inside this module i you should really read about it and it's two range i guess yeah cool and then so this is the the i call it the range translation here and then we should go should we place this here okay cool oh yeah if i could maybe make less variables or on this is uh, okay um okay cool but we need to integrate uh the reactive module reactive require sorry reactive cool uh, yeah okay um okay okay so now let's try maybe it work maybe it does not work maybe it breaks everything i don't know maybe it will explode on my face yeah cool error uh expecting uh, rogue object reference expecting native object reference reactive module to range mm -hmm. okay so uh let's see to range and why um why is not uh why it doesn't why it doesn't work? Okay, let's see. Um, patch is reactive. Okay, two range is somewhere, 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 uh, somewhere, somewhere there. Tuk 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 tuk. Um, mm -mm. Yeah, here. Scalar. Okay. From zero to uh, to min and max. Okay, cool. That's that's. That's okay, that's what I want to use. Okay, great. So where is my error? Um, line 24, ship.js, okay. Line 24, yeah, that's here. All right, okay, I get it, wrong order. Yeah, I'm stupid. Um, here, so yeah, here, here, and then here, ramjet translation and linear sample goes here. Okay, it was written completely but I did not understand what he was saying, but it was written, uh, it's not good reference of the object, which maybe me was kind of a scholar and uh, was needed like a, um, a, a reference to like a scholar signal and, uh, and something like that, which, which was maybe not what I was giving to him. Okay, uh, I was maybe sending something like what is sending linear sample. Okay, animation module. If you go linear value driver, time driver, sorry. Okay, sampler factory here. The linear sampler is uh, returning, is returning if internet wants to be a little bit faster. Yeah, uh, linear, 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 linear. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, array of scalar samplers, okay, which is not, totally not what uh, uh, my uh, two range wants. Okay, my two range wants a linear sampler. Um, uh, he wants uh, scalar signal, which is given by here. Yeah, this is a uh, this is a scalar signal. Okay, great. Uh, and then I'm changing this to this, and then. Reloading and then trying and then trying again and then error expected native object reference which is not what I wanna know 
cool and then here and then we got our animation and start it's coming it's spawning from the bottom and it's going to minus 100 cool um let's clear this yeah okay so now uh, but the problem is uh, I, when, when the game starts, is the ship is already there and it's coming back from uh, which is not cool. So when we construct our ship, when we create our ship, we can set the position. Oh yeah, and also we store the, the ship position. So let's use it here. Okay. Um, so yeah, let's set this. Uh, no, no, yeah, this dot plane dot transition. Transition transform yeah transform x no y equal uh, equal minus one thousand okay so why am I doing this um, because you will see the ship will disappear because when I start the game I don't want my ship to be on my face I want my ship not to be here on the screen since I haven't started the game so the ship is on the bot at the bottom here not hidden or anything just at the bottom and the user will never see it so when I tap ship appears then the game is starting okay so now let's use heat and let's use explode explode so heat is what it is when an en enemy is hitting the ship so the ship is losing life because we want our ship to have four lives okay so this the life life yeah it's four okay that's the number of life um four or five it, it depends okay anyway uh, so when the ship is hit, it's losing life. So this dot life my minus minus is losing one life. Okay. Uh, also, what we will need for later, and uh, maybe I'm not gonna do it right now, but I know that we're gonna do it later because when the ship is going to be hit, there will be a little bit an, a little animation. So which what I want? Uh, okay, let's do it for explode at the same time. What I want is uh, when the ship is hit or when the ship will explode, something happen. Okay, but I'm not gonna do the things that is going to happen, which is around, uh, which is about texture and animation and se animation sequence. I don't want to do it in the script um, because I think it get a little bit messier when you do it in the script. And so yeah, I think it's great to use patches and script at the same time. But yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm sending to the patch. Um, inputs, same here, okay, in explode, so what you're gonna do, you can do this, um, we will set a pulse value, okay, that we use, it will be called, uh, for hit it will be called hit, and for, uh, yeah, explode, okay. So, but how do we actually um, how do we actually send a pulse value to the patch editor? So this is a little bit tricky, but in the reactive patch, there is um, a, a method called once, and actually is returning a pulse. So that's that's what we need actually. So we can get pulse from the patch, like screen tap is sending me a pulse, and I can send a pulse. From the script to the patch also which is great with a pulse you can start an animation and you can start log which is great okay um <clears throat> cool and then now we need to create um we need to create this uh value from the patch to the script okay so from script they are here um pulse and pulse so there is one called hit and one can explode we will maybe, uh, maybe I will rename them, them later, but for now let's let's call them. Uh, and then now we create interaction patch, which is appearing somewhere here. And at the end, you will see uh, it's a returning hit and explode. Okay, so when hit appears, when hit happens, something happens, and when explode happens, something happens. Okay, cool. Um, okay, let's try. Let's try to see if. Heat is working, okay. Um, life. Display the life. Okay. 
we can display life also in on explode but we are not going to call explode for now so here i'm gonna show you the how to use time to test your uh your your program or your your, your game or, or whatever so i'm using i'm calling time So time will allow me to uh, use uh, st set timeout, which is great to try to try out. Okay, here one thousand maybe, which is one second, uh, and then here ship that hit. Okay, cool, uh, and then I'm doing, I have to do it four time here just to test yes yeah, so ugly test but still it's, it's testing and then ship will explode okay actually it's not because the life of the ship is going to to, to zero that I'm um, that I'm uh, exp making the, the ship explode which could be done like that meaning that uh, once the ship hit met functions goes from to zero we and the life is going to zero we could call from there explode but i made the choice to call the explode method from outside of there more like inside the the part of the coll the collision the collider part that we will see in in, in further tutorials so yeah let's try <coughs> see okay that is spawning oh okay life doesn't exist okay cool uh sure because life itself does not exist is uh, here yeah okay a mistake and then start again tap okay uh, patches does not exist oh okay sorry uh, uh, uh i get a little bit tired uh second tutorial of the day require Patches, okay. Great. Okay, let's start. Maybe there is an error. Like three, two, one, zero, and zero because um, yeah, the, the the display is not on the right order. I should have displayed first the the, the life and then minus one and then then etc etc. But anyway, uh, you you get you get the point. You get the point. Yeah, okay. Um, so, we can lower the life of the ship when it will get hit by a, uh, by a, a stormtrooper, which is the enemy, and, uh, and then after that, uh, it will explode. Um, so, <laughs> what happens when the, the ship explodes? That's, that's, that's the cool part, okay? Uh, when the ship explodes, it will start an animation, and that will uh, change the the value of the frame here and so we will go through the fr the different frames that represent the explosion okay so let's start an animation whenever it explodes and this animation yeah start here okay let's 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 see let's see how it looks like i'm losing life and then boom cool but then uh like you see the ship is, has disappeared and i cannot even restart anything okay so we need to use to reset this animation so for that we're gonna use a little delay one second and then we're gonna use we're gonna reset this animation okay so let's see so here ship is, is, is losing lives okay cool and then it explodes it should explode somehow at, at some point but it does not um, okay Mm -mm -mm. Minus two, minus three. Oh, okay, there is something wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay, there is something very, 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 very wrong uh, uh -huh. somewhere. Um, okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. Mm -mm. Hit. Okay. Yeah. So. Ship is spawning, and then hit, 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 and explode. I don't, I don't, I don't see why it should be. Uh,
three, two, one, zero, and then explode, and then is reappearing. Okay. So the same minus two, minus one, minus three, mm, and it's disappearing. I, I actually I don't know why it's because I, okay, I see because I'm actually not destroying the ship. I'm keeping the same ship, which is actually maybe not the 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 the, 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 the way to do, but actually the way I'm doing it. Um, because maybe I should destroy the, the, the ship completely <coughs> and um, the, the instance of the class, I should destroy it. But uh, yeah, I, I'm not doing it that way. Uh, maybe I should do it, I don't know. Okay, um, so yeah, uh, so the ship is destroyed um, and then when the ship is, is dead, we should set the, the position uh, to somewhere that I don't see it, okay? Because here, when it's destroyed, it, the, the animation sequence is reset, so we can see the ship, but I don't want to see it. I want it to be minus one, one minus one thousand at least until I restart the game. Okay, so when it explodes, um, we can. What we can do is also called time. Use time. Time here, and use the same. That we have used before time that set time out okay and then after the animation it goes um, when it's exploding in front of uh, on the on the screen after the explosion I want it to disappear so here 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 this we can do something like uh, this dot plane dot transform that y again equal father and then um, also after this one second okay also what we could do is reset the life okay because the life as you seen as you have seen was going under zero because it's the same, it's a, the same ship so the same life as I am not destroying the instance of the class losing life then it's destroyed and then it appears on bottom here so minus thousands okay it's here don't down down here down here I hate I hate this uh, kind of oh yeah it's here down here minus thousand so let's start again appearing on the screen taking hits then exploding. Okay, cool. So the ship is uh, actually like done, and then now the next step will be uh, making the the maybe making spawning the the enemies uh, or um, shooting bullets and um, making the background um, and and so on and so working on the collider uh, and so we I will explain this in the next tutorials. Um, so I hope you like these tutorials and I'm gonna make one every week about uh, this uh, game and I hope it will be over in maybe two or three weeks uh, so yes yeah, stay tuned and let me know if you like the tutorials and if you want me to change anything if you want more details about something if there is something you didn't get it get or yeah have a great day and let me know and see you bye bye guys cheers